name of Jesus. Kadu brada, kadu libra tu shete, gipa la dunda labra akandia, libra la dunda le abrada kapadu, robo do kuponde libra tu sha, robo do kuponde libra kumpelia, gena zina makupeli ya tata, gena zuna makubeli ya masede, kibalu prate, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Beatrice Kawewa, in the name of Jesus. I decree the hand of God upon you, Beatrice, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release angelic visitation upon your case in the name of Jesus Christ. I release angelic visitation upon your case by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the angels be on assignment for your case in the mighty name of Jesus. Let angel be on your uh, 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 on assignment on your case by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kustu, kustura, kustura. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whatever you are going through, this man, this man, in source, in source, in source, in source, in source, where are you? Where are you? I command that where you are, I command that ground to begin to favor you. I command that ground to begin to favor you. I command that ground to begin to favor you. Wherever you are, wherever you are in source, any power that is standing against you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free in source. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I set you free in source by the power of Holy Ghost. Kapayande, Lubrodu Shigaba Hande Kapayada, Roto Tozika Bayato, Brado Ekede Zuzu Mekipa. In source, if, you, if your mother is still alive, I see you. You are not the place you are, is not where you come from. In source, hear me, hear me, hear me. If your mother is still alive, try to talk to your mother. Try to talk to your mother if she's still alive. Try to talk to your mother if she's still alive. In Sose, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Paragu Jada Bahada. Rako do Jibra tu Shatelebra Ate. Gepra do Shabra Kupe Yadandala Ateki. Loko do Zizi. Yes, share, 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 share. Share the life broadcast. Share the life broadcast. Betty, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cover everyone on this live broadcast with the blood of Jesus. Father, give us divine wisdom to understand this revelation tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, empower us, strengthen us, give us knowledge and understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you know all the heart desire. Father, tonight I release answers to the, to, the, to the prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight I release answers to the prayers by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But the Bible says, with men, it is impossible but with god it is possible i command everything that is impossible in your life to become possible in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever that seems impossible in your life as you are hearing the sound of my voice i command it to become possible by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus prayer for a job and finances in the name of jesus Grace, 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 grace. I think you are the one last time I said you should contact me for prayer. You are the one last time I said you should contact me for prayer. You did not contact me. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace. I release your heart desire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That job you are crying for, by the divine mandate of heaven, 
I release it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say that job that you are asking for, by the authority of heaven, I release it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You do know that by the default of heaven, you're supposed to be walking. In the name of Jesus, let heaven begin to speak for you. Let heaven begin to speak for you. I will contact you, man of God. This is the problem of some people. I think it's like almost one week and maybe got into two weeks. Now you are saying you will contact me. You know, most, most people here, I think because God help me. <laughs> I will not say what I want to say. Help me. If maybe it's those people, they, they register one-on-one -on -one before you speak to them, you'll be serious. You'll be serious. This generation we are, we, 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 we honor, or I don't know, we respect, yes, people who maybe they put their anointing in a high level. Maybe you, if you are registering one-on-one -on -one before you talk to some somebody you'll be serious to do that but i pray may god help you in the mighty name of jesus christ god bless every one of you rejoice 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 let me see a smile let me see a smile emoji let me see a smile emoji rejoice rejoice that problem is over i know the reason why i'm telling you to rejoice i want to see a smiling emoji from everyone that's on this live broadcast I want to see a smiling emoji. Rejoice. Yes, I've seen it. Yes, more, more, more. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Rejoice. It is done in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. God bless you. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Do you know, let me tell you, let me give you one secret. Eh? <laughs> the reason why the enemy attacks they want you to begin to feel bad and they know when once you are feeling bad they have opportunity to come in once they have tried in your dream they try to feed you they can't they try to attack you at night they can't they, they try to uh, stop your prayer life they can't they have tried every everything they can't now they will, they will come with distraction and they know with that distraction once you are distracted you are you become you are you are you are done and once you are done that is that is where they come in because once you are feeling sad or whatever emotional trauma i don't know how they call it once you begin to feel that is uh, they have opportunity they will just they will just come in that is why if food is on the table thank you jesus if food is not on the table thank you jesus all the time thank you jesus all the time rejoice all the time rejoice because god knows why if god don't want it to happen it will not happen that's why he said i will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy so that means through that attack god will do something through that enemy, God will do something. No enemy, no breakthrough. <laughs> Jesus. No enemy, no breakthrough. Because he said, I will prepare the table before you in the presence of your enemy. So that means if you don't have enemy, God will not prepare the table. So if you don't have that distraction, if you don't have that attack, how can God prepare the table? That's why when it comes, just know that something is going to happen. When the digging becomes more stronger, dig deep, dig deep, you are about, you are about to, 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 to come out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray right now and let's go straight to the, to the, to the word today. Let's go straight to today's teaching. Today, today is teaching. Today is teaching. Today is teaching. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cover everyone on this live broadcast with your precious blood. Father, guide and protect us. Give us the ability. Give us the strength. Give us the understanding. Give us the knowledge. Give us divine wisdom. 
to understand this revelation tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. I protect everyone on this live broadcast with the blood of Jesus. Let the hand of God begin to touch them wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the hand of God begin to touch their children, begin to touch their husbands, begin to touch their wives, begin to touch their families by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Today, we are talking about tongues. The power in your tongues. The power in your tongues. The power in your tongues. We are talking about tongues. The power that comes out from our mouth. What we speak with our tongues the topic those of you who want to write the topic is what the bible said about the power in our tongue do you know that our words are powerful our words are powerful our words can inspire, our words can destroy, our words can save, our words can kill. Just a one word, we can destroy a relationship that we have built for many years. Just one word, the relationship will destroy. Also, with one word, relationship can also be restored. So, in our words, the power in our tongues is the way you use it is either dangerous or profitable. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may God be, may, may you begin to speak a positive words from your from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your tongues begin to release positive words by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of jesus christ listen you can change the word you can change the word by changing your words you can change the word by changing your words you can also destroy the world by the way you speak in proverbs 18 verse 21 Proverbs 18 verse 21. I will go, I will go, I will go fast, fast, okay? In Proverbs 18 verse 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So let life, I say, death and life are in the power of our tongues. Now the question, what are you using your tongues to do? The words that come out from your mouth, what are you using it to do? My God. We break it down with scripture. Today we go deeper in the scripture. So those of you who write, make sure you are writing. Please, we break it down scripturally, scripturally. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18, he said, he said, he said, there is one whose rash words are like sword. Trust. He said, but the tongue of the wise bring healing. What your tongue is bringing you? Is your tongue sword to destroy or your tongue is bringing healing you know most people want once they began to face challenges what they speak with their tongue we even make the enemy attack them more they'll begin to confess ah, this is how my life is since i was born this is how my, my life is anything i do don't prosper they look at what they are speaking with their tongues he said, but the tongue of the wise bring healing.
No wonder in Matthew 18, 18, he said, um, he said that very, very, I said to you, was, it was, was ever you burn on earth shall be burned on and in what whatever you burn on earth shall be burned in heaven how do you burn something on earth with your with 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 with, with your words with your tongue what you speak so that means if you are not binding heaven will not respond because what 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 come out from you is what we used to respond if negative always come out from your mouth, you will be receiving always negative. That's why when things is rough, always prophesy to yourself. Always speak to yourself posi positive things. Always speak to yourself positive things all the time. Because you don't know who is hearing. You don't know who is at work you don't know who is in charge this verse proof everything this verse proof how bad is our tongue this verse proof how good is our tongues We'll break, we'll, we'll break it down so that you see the repercussion of misusing the power of tongues. I'm going to, I think I have, I have like 17, 17 Bible verses. I have 17 Bible verses. We'll break the 17 verses down to see the, the, the repercussion of misusing the power of tongues. There is a repercussion. You will see the repercussion of misusing the power of tongues. I think let's let's start from uh, uh, um, Proverb thirteen verse three. Proverb thirteen verse three says, "Say he who guide his mouth preserve his life. He who guide his mouth preserve his life. But he who open wide his lips shall be shall have destruction." He who guard his mouth preserve his life, but he who open wide his lips shall have destruction. What mind whatever you speak. Proverb 13 verse 3. Proverb 13 verse 3. Most of our troubles are tongue troubles. Most troubles we have today is our tongue troubles. Please take it easy for me, but this teaching is a revelation. Someone needs to hear this teaching. This teaching is for someone. And as you are hearing the sound of my voice right now, by the power and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that negative thought or always that negative thought in your heart that always comes out from your mouth. Today we command you to change to positive thought in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, let positive things begin to come out from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say from today, let positive positive things begin to come out from your mouth by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall begin to release positive things from your mouth by the power of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. He said, he who guard his mouth preserve his life. But he who open wide his lips shall have destruction. May you not have destruction in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May your life be preserved by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Share this live broadcast. Share this live broadcast. Kabaya Dandi. Rokodo. Number two. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. He said, let not corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. Let not corrupt words proceed out of your mouth. He said, but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearer. What, what, what you are speaking to someone, is it, is it edifying the person 
is it imparting grace to the person most of you or let's say most of us because the bible says there's no righteous man on earth so most of us once we finish speaking with somebody the person heart is shattered that's that's why you see people who got bullied after the bullying they can go and commit suicide it's common in this in this generation we are now you just see somebody just write a little note that he was bullied in school or they, they, they always bully him in school before you know the person commits suicide they die power of town just what they what people said to him or what people say against him he cannot bear it no more and the person will just commit suicide Ephesians 4 29 he said let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth he said but it but what is good for necessary edification that he may impart grace to the hearer in the mighty name of Jesus I impart grace to every one of you that are hearing the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus I impart grace to every one of you that is hearing the sound of my voice by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Kabayada. number three Proverbs 18 verse 19 we are we, we are taking it a little bit faster because we don't have time here I'm not supposed to be here but I came here because of you I came here because God wants you to hear these words I came here because those of you who want to lose hope God wants you to have hope I came here for, both to, uh, for, for most of you who, who don't control what comes out from their mouth I came here for you God from today God wants you to be controlling what comes out from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus because God is saying most of your trouble are tons trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. May you delete, may you be delivered from that tongue troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak deliverance upon your life from that tongue troubles by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Paragu shante libra ata zozo pilande giba zupra du shakabayande. Proverbs 18. 19 says a brother offended is harder to win a brother offended is harder to win than a strong city a brother offended is harder to win than a strong city because you offend this brother with your words what you what 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 you speak to this brother what you speak to this sister what you speak to this auntie what you speak to your mom what you speak to your children what is what is what 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 you are speaking to people it's more harder than to win a strong city He said, and contentions are like the bar, the bars of castle. Know what you speak. Know what you speak. The, um, number four, Proverbs 10, verse 20. Let's work it at. Let's work it at. Let's work it at. Let's work it at. Proverbs 10, verse 20. God is about to change someone's life in this life broadcast. In the name of Jesus. My God. I say someone is about to change. God is about to change someone's life. Someone's life is about to change on this life broadcast. <laughs> Jesus. Makaba Zida. Leka do Prado Shibra Kun Pelete. And the person, you feel like your stomach, your abdomen, you feel like fire is burning. Your abdomen, your belly, your abdomen, you feel like fire is burning. You feel like fire is burning. God is removing that evil thought. God is removing that satanic thought. God is removing 
that hatred god is removing that bitterness you feel like you are your abdomen and you are a woman you feel like your abdomen is burning you feel like your abdomen is burning god is removing it god is removing it deliverance is coming upon you today in the name of jesus proverbs 10 verse 20 says he said the tongue of the righteous is choice silver the heart of the wicked is worth little the tongue of the righteous is choice silver you see how important your tongue is he said the heart of the wicked is worth little so as a righteous person your tongue is a choice and the wicked their heart is nothing worth little power of tongue power of tongue do you know do you know if you are i don't want to use i don't want to use this word but if you if do you know if someone don't, don't regard you Do you know if you are not regarded? Do you know if you are not regarded? There is a word you will speak. Everybody will stand still. They want to listen. They want to listen more. I don't know if you know. If there is a place you are not regarded, but there is a word you will utter, everybody want to listen. That is what this proverb chapter 10 verse 20 is saying he said the tongue of a righteous is a choice silver the heart of the wicked is worth little may your heart not be the heart of the wicked in the mighty name of jesus christ i say may your heart not be the heart of the wicked by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus christ Proverbs verse five, um, number number five, number five. Proverbs twenty six, verse twenty. Proverbs twenty six, verse twenty says, "He said, with that wood, a fire will go out, and with that gossip, quarrel will stop." Those of you who like gossiping, this verse is for you. <laughs> Those of you who like gossiping. Remember, I told you today teaching, we are going scriptural. So that you don't say I'm the one speaking what I feel like speaking. This is the word of God. It's from the scripture. It's from the holy book. Proverbs 26 verse 20 says, With that wood, a fire will go out. And with that gossip, quarry will stop. Do you know, do you know that most most quarrel, most misunderstanding is caused by gossiping. The other one said, this one said, this one said, she said, he said, they said, quarrel with that. Power in your tongue. Power in your ways. Number six, Proverbs 11 17 proverbs 11 17 he said the, me the merciful man does good for his own soul the merciful man does good for his own soul he said but he who is cruel trouble his own flesh so when you don't control your mouth your soul is troubled <laughs> When you don't control what comes out from your mouth, your soul is troubled. Let me do again. Proverbs 11 verse 17. He said, the merciful man does good for his soul, for his own soul. He said, but he who is cruel trouble his own flesh. May your soul not be troubled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
may you begin to speak positive positive things so that your soul will prosper in the mighty name of jesus no wonder the bible says, may you prosper so as your soul prosper hmm. Hmm. may you begin to speak positive verse from today in the mighty name of jesus christ may god begin to give you a way that will edify others not to break the heart of others by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus the words that will edify others not the words that will pull others down kabayadu lipa do zi produ kapande libra atata Roko do zizi me kuda ande libra ashe kete. Lika do brado jiga mahande labra ata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number seven. We are working it out. We are working it out gradually, gradually. First Peter. First Peter chapter 3 verse 9. First Peter chapter 3 verse 9. He said, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. He said, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. Some of us, when someone insults us, <laughs> we said, lie, lie. If, it's, if, the, if, we, if it's Nigeria people, then we say, I know go grill, I know go grill. If, if you are not from Nigeria, please, you must have any Nigeria friend. You ask them, what is the meaning of, I know go grill, I know go grill. <laughs> If it's Nigeria man or Nigeria woman, they will say, I know go grill, I know go grill. I must insult back. He say, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing what is that papa i don't know ask nigeria people here there are so much there are so much nigeria people on this live broadcast try to ask them type there they will tell you the meaning nigeria people she's charita is asking what is the meaning you will have to tell her he said do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult most of us when someone insult us we try to insult them back. So on the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. May you inherit the blessing of God in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you the grace. May God give you the anointing. To be able to do the right thing in tough time in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's not easy, but when you pray for gr grace, when you pray for strength, for God to strengthen you, God will do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive the grace, may you receive the strength, may you receive the power to, be, to, to, to handle any situation that comes your way by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Number eight, Proverbs 16, verse 24. Proverbs 16, verse 24 says, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and heady for the body. Now, what is coming out from your mouth? That is the question. what is coming out from your mouth look at what proverbs 16 verse 24 is saying it's a kind words are like honey sweet to the soul and heady to the body most of all this attack most of all this sickness is because of what we have spoken the power in your tongue the power of your words what are you speaking 
is your worst complicating issue is your worst opening doors for attack go and read proverbs 16 verse 24. number nine matthew matthew 15 verse 18 I told you let's work it out fast fast let's work it out fast fast we don't have time here matthew 15 verse 18 says he said but what comes out of the mouth proceed from the heart and he is and this define a person matthew 15 18 says but what comes out of the mouth proceed from the heart and this define a person now what are you feeding your heart with? What are you feeding your soul with? Because what comes out from your mouth proceeds from your heart. Most of us, what we think, what we feed our soul with, what we watch, what we listen, what we even hear from people, Bad company corrupt good company. Bad company corrupt good company. What are you hearing? Who is talking to you? Because what you take in is what you bring out. What is going inside your heart? Is what we come at in the name of Jesus Christ may you begin to hear positive thing in the name of Jesus any negative thing that you are taking into your heart today we can sweet it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ whatever medium Satan is using to corrupt your heart by the power of Holy Ghost I speak deliverance upon you in the mighty name of Jesus I speak divine power upon you in the name of Jesus Christ what are you taking in? What are you listening? Who is that voice? What is that voice telling you? We command that voice to be cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. We silent that voice. We command that voice be silent. Be silent completely by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Matthew 12. Matthew 12, verse 36. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. Number 10. He said, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every carelessness where they speak. Look at, look, look at what Jesus is saying. Look at what Jesus is saying in Matthew 12, verse 36. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. He said, I tell you, on the day of judgment, People will give account for every careless words they speak. <laughs> Mind what if if there is any careless words that you have already spoken, begin to revise it now. Begin to pray for forgiveness. Begin to pray for repentance. Look at what Jesus is saying. Matthew 12, verse 36. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. He said, I tell you on the uh, on the um, on the day of judgment. People will give account of every careless words they speak. What are you speaking? Whatever words that you are speaking, begin to return it. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, O Lord, forgive us for any careless words that we have spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we return it back in the mighty name of Jesus. We return it back in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon us. Let the mercy of God prevail over the judgment of the enemy in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Number 11, December, December Matthew 12, verse 37. Matthew 12, verse 37. Matthew 12, 37. He said, For by your words, 
you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned oh 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 verse 37 Matthew 12 37 say but for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned if what is coming in your mouth is positive you'll be justified if whatever is coming your mouth is negative destroying people killing people because there is power in your tongues there is power in your ways you'll be condemned it's all left for you to choose control what comes out from your mouth because your power your, your, your ways carry power number 12 Colossians chapter 3 verse 8 Colossians chapter 3 verse 8 it says but now you but now you you must put them all away listen 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 he said but now Colossians chapter 3 verse 8 he said but now you must put them all away anger Remember when we are angry, we talk more than we talk what we don't have to talk. Rats, malice, slander. You say and absent talk from your mouth. Absent talk from your mouth. All these things come from mouth. When you are angry, you can say whatever. Even when you are angry, you don't even know, even if it's your father or your mother or whatever, you can talk to them anyhow. This is what Colossians 3 is saying. So you have to put all away anger, wrath, malice, slander. And you have to keep short. absent talk from your mouth keep short go break from your mouth go to vacation from your mouth put your mouth on vacation in the mighty name of Jesus may God give you the strength may God give you the strength because it's by the grace of God that's why anything you have to do you have to involve God Watching this live broadcast, you have to involve God. As you are watching the live broadcast, you have to involve God. Because true by His mercy, we are not consumed. Make a do, zibrada handi, roko do, zipala dayata. Number thirteen, number thirteen, Colossians. No, number thirteen, James. James chapter 1 from uh, the, James chapter 1 verse 26 number 13 James chapter 1 verse 26 he said if anyone think he's he is righteous and does not bridle his tongue but deceive his heart this person religion religion is worthless let me read it again James chapter 1 verse 26 say if anyone think he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceive his heart this person religion is worthless religious people this is for you this is for you you know most people that can be too much relig religious and they talk anyhow because they think that is their right because they know everything they can talk and if you don't bridle your tongue and deceive your heart they know what like i will see some people talking hitting their chest about man of god hitting their chest about men of god But in their heart, they know what they are saying is not good. Even if the man of God is doing wrong, 
You are, you are not judge. You are not judge. Who made you a judge? Let me ask you a question. After fighting the man of God, and that same man of God, what he was doing is not good. But after fighting the man of God, and he realized, he go back to God and beg God, God forgive him. Where will you be? <laughs> Where will you be? God forgive him. Where will you be? May God give it, may God give us the grace to focus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree by the power of God. May God give us the grace to focus. May God give us the grace to concentrate on ourselves by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. My phone is done. My phone is done. Let me plug my phone. Oh, Jesus. Makaba zibala do yade. Rokoto zisibra kopande libra ate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Number 14. Number 14. James chapter 3 verse 5. James chapter 3 verse 5. He said, even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. He said, see how great a forest, a little fire kindled. He said, and the tongue is a fire, a word of iniquity. He said, the tongue is so set among our members that it defines the whole body. He said, and set on fire the course of nature, and it set, and it is set on fire by the hell. See how powerful, how powerful is the tongue? How powerful is your tongue? That's why I say most infirmities are tongue troubles. Most setbacks are tongue troubles. Most problems are tongue trouble. Most death are tongue trouble. Most poverty are tons trouble. You want to do something before you start it, you, 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 have, you have already used your tongue to condemn what you want to do. How do you think it will work out? He said, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Life and death is in your tongue. What are you using your tongue to proclaim? What are you using your tongue to declare? Are you blessing or you are cursing? Are you blessing or you are cursing? In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone 
that are hearing the sound of my voice right now from today may you begin to use your tongues in a positive way in the mighty name of jesus christ may you begin to speak positive things in your life by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus number 15 james 39 james chapter 3 verse 9 let's see let's see Makaba. James chapter 3. Let's, let's read James chapter 3 verse 10. Let's see James chapter 3 verse 10. He said, Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and curse. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. James chapter 3 verse 10. He said, Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and curse. He said, My brethren, this has ought not to be so it's not to be so in, in the essence that you have to be using your uh, 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 your mouth to bless not to cause it's a out of the same mouth proceed blessing and curse i decree by the power of god from today may you begin to bless in the mighty name of jesus May you begin to bless your family. May you begin to bless yourself. May you, may you begin to bless people around you by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, These things ought not to be so. Kaba yada. Le prado shaprago palende libra hati. Zozo mekado rapande gibalayata. Le kedera bamba kipolo du shida bahandi. Rogodo zibala bayata. Rade kapande. Rade mayaga dai handi. Rokodo zizi paria kitala bahandi. Rodo zibala kanta. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's 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 take this one. Proverb nineteen. Proverb nineteen. Mm. Okay. Proverb twenty nine. Let's let's take Proverb twenty nine. Proverb twenty nine verse twenty. Proverbs twenty nine verse twenty. Proverbs twenty nine verse twenty. Say, do you see a man who is hasting in his ways? There is more hope for a fool than him. Most of us, we don't even know the end of the discussion. We don't even know what is happening. We don't even like try to know how it started and how it ended. We are just hurry to speak. He said, "Do you see a man who is hasty?" In his words, he said, there is more hope for a fool than him. There is more hope for a fool than him. Those who, who just speak without knowing the conclusion. Those who, ju who just speak without knowing both sides. They just, they just want to speak. The Bible says, there is more hope for a fool than the person may you not be under in, in that category in the mighty name of jesus christ hear me hear me hear me i say may you not be under in that category by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus kabayande libra tusha zoto libra kumpeli adada rekede zibala baya tonto libra kunti Libra do shate libra kupra de alabande gizanato. Roko do zibala bayate in the name of Jesus. Colossians, Colossians 4. I think this 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 this, this is the last one. After we go how to control your tongues. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6 says, it says, Let your speech always be gracious, 
let what you speak let your speech always be gracious say season with salt I have a question to ask you does your words make people cry does your words look like onion <laughs> you know onion onion make people cry is your words onion <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. He said, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. You know, any food you cook with that salt, uh, you will not get the, 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 the taste of the food. That's why salt is essential. Even in the realm of the spirit, the first miracle Elijah did, was sought to heed the land. Was sought to heed the land. Sought an above water. He said, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Someone, when your speech cannot even encourage person, how can you take care of? How can you answer others? How can you answer people around you when your speech cannot even control, uh, um, uh, um, console someone? Instead of your speech, console them. Instead of your tongues, instead of your words, console them. Your words is making them to, 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 to be more in, in, a, in a mode of depression. What are you speaking? What is coming out from your mouth? In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy have used to, to turn your tongues. I command the angel of the living God to begin to change your tongues for, pos for, for positive things only. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Satan. Satan. Satan is the one. Satan is the one. Satan is the one responsible for that negative speech, for that negative words, for that negative tones that you are using to devour people, to break the heart of people, to make people cry. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let positive things begin to come out from your mouth. Let positive things begin to come out from your mouth. Let positive things begin to come out from your mouth. Let your mouth be graced in the name of Jesus Christ. Let gracious things begin to come out from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let blessings begin to come out from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Let life begin to come out from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, let's break it down. The question most of you are asking is, how can I control my tongues? How can I control the power of my words? That is the question those of you who are hearing the sound of my voice is asking now. How can I control the power of my words? How can I control my tongues? I have, I have 14, 14 ways, I have 14 ways to control your tongues. I have 14 ways and all of them are biblical standard. How to control your tongues, how to control the power of your ways. Number one. Number one. Control what you speak. 
not everything needs to be expressed. Number one, to control your tongues, not everything needs to be expressed. To control your tongues or to control the power of your words, not everything needs to be expressed. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9, verse 19. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19 says, In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. That is why you need not to express everything. Not everything you need to be expressed. In Proverbs chapter 10, verse 19, it says, In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. Proverbs chapter, chapter 10, verse 19. He said, In the multitude of words, sins is not lacking. He said, But he who restrains his lips is wise. Learn how to restrain your lips. The Bible says that he who restrains his lips is wise. Be a wise somebody. Now I begin to wonder. What, why Bible say be wise as a serpent? Because serpent don't talk. Serpent don't make noise. For instance, if you are somewhere, maybe a lion is running, you will hear the sound tick, 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 or whatever, or this white animal. You will hear the sound. But if you are sitting on one place, snake, you would not hear any sound unless you see you are you are able to see the snake you will not hear anything be wise as serpent be wise as serpent he said in the multitude of where his sin is not lacking because in the you, you begin to talk anyhow talk talk anyhow so but he who restrain his lips is wise in Proverbs 10 verse 11, Proverbs 10 verse 11, he said, The mouth of the righteous is a well of life. How to control the, 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 the power of your words. How to control your tongues. Not everything needs to be expressed. Proverbs 10 verse 11 says, The mouth of the righteous is a well of life. But violence covers the mouth of the wicked. But violence covered the mouth of the wicked. May you not be in that category in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going deeper in the scripture today. Proverbs 15 verse 4. Proverbs 15 verse 4. We are still, we are still in how to control the power of your words or how to control your tongues. This is just number one. Number one is not everything needs to be expressed. I'm just giving you some scriptural uh, uh, um, references or scriptural backup on it. Okay. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4. He says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but, but perverseness in it break the spirit. Hmm. Proverbs Chapter 15, verse 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it break the spirit. Proverbs 12, verse 18 says, There is one who speaks like the piercing of a sword. Say, but the tongue of the wise promotes hurt. Remember, I say most of our hurt issues are tongue troubles. Remember, I said that in Proverbs 12, verse 18, say, There is no one, he said, There is one who speaks like the piercing of a sword. He said, But the tongue of the wise promote hurt. What your, what your tongue is promoting? Is your tongue promoting illness? 
is your tongue promoting debt? Is your tongue promoting poverty? Is your tongue promoting failure? What is your tongue promoting? It's a question. Proverbs 15, from verse 1 to 2. Proverbs 15, from verse 1 to 2. He said, A soft answer turned away wrath. He said, But a harsh word stir up anger. Some people, if you ask that question, it's like <laughs> you have problem with them before. I go through that many times. I go through that many times, especially on prayer line. May God give us the strength. You will ask someone question, they, change, they turn it another thing. Say, so, but a harsh way stir up anger. Um, verse 2, he said, The tongue of the wise use knowledge rightly. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly. But the mouth of fool pour, pour forth foolishness. Use your tongue rightly. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly. In anything you do, always use knowledge, wisdom rightly say so, but the mark of fool poor forth foolishness may you not be among that in the mighty name of Jesus number two how to control the power of your words how to control your tongues number two dedicate your heart Dedicate your heart, dedicate your mind and tongue to the Lord God daily. Dedicate your heart, dedicate your mind and tongue to the Lord God daily. If you are not filled with the word of God, if your heart is not dedicated to the word of God, you can't. Because what you take in is what you bring out. What entered your heart, what entered your mouth, is what you speak with your mouth. With, 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 with your mouth. Luke 6 verse 45. Luke chapter 6 verse 45. He said, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good. Luke 6 verse 45 A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good. Say an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. That's why you have to dedicate your, your mind your heart and tongue daily to God because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. He said a good man out of the good out of the good treasure a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth good. He said an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bring forth evil. What is in your heart? That's why Number two, you need to dedicate, dedicate daily, dedicate your heart and mind and your tongues to, to God daily. For out of the abundance of the heart, they must speak it. What is in your heart is what you speak. What you feed your heart with is what, you, what come out from your mouth. Number three, how to control the tongues. How to control the power of your words. Number three. Let's see. Ah 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 ah. Makaba zuda labrato. Number number three. 
pray pray daily for God to give you the consciousness of your words be conscious of your words be conscious of what comes out from your mouth Be conscious of what comes out from your mouth. Be conscious. That is number three. Pray that God will give you the conscious of your ways. Most of all, we are not conscious of anything. We are not even, we don't have the awareness of what, what we are doing. We just bam say anything. Matthew, uh, um, okay, no, let's leave Matthew. Let's go to Psalm, Psalm nineteen, Psalm Psalms nineteen verse fourteen, Psalms nineteen verse fourteen. He said, "Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer." Psalm 19 verse 14. Psalm, Psalm 19 verse 14. It says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So, number three, you have to pray that God will give you an awareness and consciousness of your words. That is number three. Number four is be careful what you feed your soul with. Be careful of what you feed your soul with because it will be revealed through your tongue. What you feel your soul with will be revealed through your tongue. That is number four. We, we get it from Matthew chapter 15, verse 18. Matthew 15, 18 it says, But those things which proceed out of our mouth comes from our heart, and they defy a man. Matthew chapter 15, verse 18. So, but those things which proceed out of our mouth comes from the heart and they defy a man. That's why we have to be careful what we feed our soul with. Because it will be reviewed by the tongues. Number five. Number five is silent. You don't always have to speak. Some people, if they hear anything before you know they began to speak, blah, 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 their mouth begin to run. There is some people, once they hear something, their mouth begin to run. Number five is silent. You don't have to speak. Not always. You don't always have to speak. In Proverbs, Proverbs 17, verse 27, Proverbs 17, verse 27 says, He who has knowledge, spare his words. Proverbs 17, verse 27, it says, He who has knowledge, spare his words. And a, man's, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Be calm. Be calm. Proverbs 17 verse 27 he who has knowledge spare his ways and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit verse 28 say even a fool is counted wise when he hold his peace <laughs> jesus christ the same the same psalm i'm sorry the same proverb 17 from verse 27 to 28 i'm reading 28 now he said even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shut his lips, 
he is considered he is considered even a fool is counted wise when he hold his peace when he shut his lip he is considered the power of silent when when you are someone who who is silent not all the time you speak you can control the power you can control your tongues many christians can't control their, their tongues once they hear something they begin to their mouth begin to run like a tap of water may you be may you not be in that category in the mighty name of jesus christ matthew 15 verse 10 he said when he has called the multitude to himself he said to them hear and understand verse 11 he said not what goes into the mouth defy a man but what come out of the mouth defines a man matthew 15 from verse 10 to 11 let me read again he said when he has called the multitude to himself He said to them, Hear and understand. Verse 11 say, Not what goes into the mouth defines a man, but what comes out from the mouth defines a man. So be careful what you speak. It's better to be silent. Not all the time you have to speak. That is, that is number five. We are progressing, we are progressing, we are progressing, we are progressing. Number six. Number six. Number six of how to control your tongue. How to control the power of your ways. The number six is our speech should not, your, that is, your speech should not mimic the words. Your speech should not mimic or should not be like those in the world as a Christian. If you are able to do that, you can control the power of your tongue. You can control the power of your words. Your, your speech should not mimic the world. Proverbs 15 verse 28. Proverbs 15 verse 28 says, The heart of the righteous studies how to answer <laughs> proverb 15 28 he said the heart of the righteous studies how to answer he said but the mouth of the wicked pour forth evil the heart of the wicked pours forth evil your speech should not mimic the world so you have to study what you speak. The heart of the righteous study how to answer. But the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. Number seven, complaining. Stop complaining. Complaining cause every good thing around you to stand still. Complaining causes death to any good thing around you. That is why it's very dangerous to complain. Because that tongue that you are using to complain carry power. That tongue carry life. That tongue carry death. The tongues carry power. The tongues carry death. Number seven, stop complaining. Complaining costs every good thing around you to stop functioning, to stand still. Complaining causes death to any, any good thing around you. Psalm 141 verse 3. Psalm 141 verse 3 says, Set a guide over my mouth. Lord, keep watch over the doors of of my lips 
Psalm 141 verse 3. Psalms 141 verse 3 says, It says, Set a guard over my mouth. Lord, keep watch over the doors of my lips. Because if, if God set, set a guard over your mouth and he keep watch over the doors of your lips, you will not complain. You, you, you have to pray this prayer. You have to pray this prayer. Number 10. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are about to round up. Number 10. Sorry, sorry. Number 8. Number 8. Number 7 is stop complaining. Number 8. Is, number 8 says, Don't, number 8, how to control your tongue. How to control the, 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 the power of your words. Don't say what you don't mean. Don't say what you don't mean. Don't say what you don't mean. There are some people that they will say something and they know they didn't hurt you. And maybe after some times, they will come, they'll be telling you, sorry, I don't mean it. I don't mean it, but that word has already come out from your mouth. So how to control the power of your tongues, how to control your tongues, how to control the power of your words, don't say what you don't mean. Let's take a look at Proverbs 29 verse 5. Proverbs 29 verse 5 says, A man who flatter his neighbor spread a net for his feet. Proverbs 29, verse 5. A man who flatters his neighbor spread a net in his feet. Don't say what you don't mean. Because you cannot, you cannot take that word back again. Because it's power. Proverbs 26, verse 28. Proverbs 26, verse 28. He said, A lion tongues hate those who are Crush by it, and a flattering mouth walk run. A flattering mouth walk run, they ruin you. A lying tongue hate those who are crushed. After you have said what you said, and you, you later you find out that ah, this thing what I have said is not good. You will come back. You will be saying, oh sorry, I did not mean it. No, your words have done havoc before you come back. Immediately you release it because it, it carries power. Life and death is in, your, is in the tongue. Don't say what you don't mean. That is number eight. Number nine. Ask for forgiveness of any unloving word or or attitude most of our, most most attitude most of us our attitude is not good our attitude most of us our attitude is 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 also a voice because you are acting it from your heart so number nine how to control it is to ask for forgiveness for any unloving words or attitude James chapter 3 verse 2 says, it says, For we all stumble in many times. James chapter 3 verse 2. It says, For we all stumble in many times. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to break down the whole body. But who has not stumbled? Who? who? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, nobody, nobody that has not stumbled. We all, we are striving. We are striving. Everyone is striving. Everyone is striving. So that is why you need to always, if you know you wrong someone, forgiveness. Because when you beg or when you ask for forgiveness, next time when, 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 when you want to utter 
that verse you will remember ah i've said this thing to this person last time and i went to ask for forgiveness now i cannot say this because this is not good that's why it's very important ask for forgiveness when when when, when you have that heart when you when you have a heart that always asks for forgiveness you can control your words you can control the power of your words just three verse two say for for we all stumble in many things we all stumble in many things number 10 number 10 practice speaking a word that we encourage comfort edify and inspire people number 10 how to control the power of your tongue how to control the power of your words practicing and speaking words that we encourage people that we comfort people that we edify people that we inspire people if you always practice these things negative words can never come out from your mouth Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 say let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearer Ephesians 4 verse 29 he said let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it, may, that it may impart grace to the hearer. Learn how to speak encouraging words. The words that encourage people. The words that comfort people. The words that edify people. And the words that inspire people. Because your words carry power. Your words is power. Your tongue is power. Number 11. A gentle answer. A gentle answer. Number 11. Speak gently. Speak a word that are seasoned with grace. Most people don't speak a word that carry grace most people don't speak a word all, all, all the time what what you any any time you hear them speaking they speak ash word words that are ash speak gently speak words that are seasoned with grace what are you speaking does your words carry grace no Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, A soft answer turn away wrath, but a harsh word stir up anger. What are you speaking? Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1. A soft answer turn away wrath, but a, sh a, a, but a harsh word stir up anger. When you are speaking to people, speak gently yes we know the bible says for the kingdom of god suffer violent violent take it by force for the judge don't back it you know the kingdom of god suffer violent you have to understand this part is in another way if you are fighting if you are praying if you are praying warfare prayer that is another thing because most christians they easily quote scriptures Maybe you will say, ah, uh, uh, man of God, last time you said that Jesus Christ have le legalized uh, um, uh, violence. It's not this way, okay? <laughs> it's not this way. He legalized it through praying, through dealing with evil powers, through dealing with spirits that want to stop you. May you not be stopped in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Number 12. Number 12. Number 12 is speaking the right words at the right time. Speaking the right words at the right time. Speaking the right words at the right time. When you speak the right word and at the right time, your words will be profound. It carry grace. It will carry grace. It will carry a word that is seasoned because you are speaking at the right time. Proverb uh, uh, 15 verse 7. He said, the, lip, the lips of the wise despair knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. So speaking at the right time. Speak at the right time. Speak the right words at the right time. Don't become a talkative. So that you'll be able to control your tongues. So that, so that you'll be able to control the power of your words. Number 13, number 13. We are about to go. Number 13. Listen more. Listen more and speak less. Listen more and speak less. Listen more. Listen more. How to control your tongue is by listening more and speaking less. By listening more. And speaking less James 1 verse 19 James chapter 1 verse 19 say so then my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to write listening more and speaking less you can control the power of your tongue you can control the power of your words James chapter 1 verse 19 he says, so, so then my beloved brethren let every man be swift to hear slow to speak slow to write listening more and speaking less the last one the last one the last one oh Jesus the last one is avoid gossiping. The last one is avoid gossiping. That is number 14. Number 14. Avoid gossiping and perverse talks. Avoid gossiping and perverse talk. This is how you can control the power of your tongues how you can control the power of your words avoid gossiping and perverse talk always speak life into others always speak life into others avoid gossiping avoid perverse talk always speak life into the life of others. Always speak life into others people's life. Gossiping is an addition or uh, is mo is is almost like addition almost. <laughs> Gossiping is almost like addition. You feel good at the moment but afterward, what happened? You leave yourself empty and drained. <sighs> gossiping is almost like addition, or gossiping is an addition. At the moment, you will feel good. I feel good. You feel good. But afterward, it leaves you empty and drained. Avoid gossiping and perverse talk proverb 26 verse 20 
Proverbs 26 verse 20. I'm, I'm reading from New Living Translation. It says, Fire goes out without wood, and quarrel disappear when gossip stop. Proverbs 26, verse 20. I'm reading from New Living Translation. It says, Fire goes out without wood, and quarrel disappear when gossip stop. Gossip has destroyed many homes. Gossip has destroyed many relationships. Gossip have destroyed many divine uh, 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 divine helpers. Gossip have destroyed many business. Money um, gossip have destroyed many many family. Gossip have destroyed many, many things. Those who are anointed, gossip has also contaminated their anointing. May you not be part of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you are hearing the sound of my voice, by the divine mandate of heaven, from today, may you begin to speak positive things with your tongues in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your tongues carry life. Your tongues carry death. May positive thing that is life begin to come out from your mouth from today by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Kabarado. Zibala kada zubrado. Lepado zikabayada. Rokodo zuzo pratu shandeli gama hande. Lekabo japradayata. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for, let me pray for someone. Let me pray for someone. Please comment, comment, comment. Let me pray for someone. I'm stopping. I'm stopping here for today. Let me pray for someone. Comment, 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 comment. If you want me to pray for you, comment your prayer request there. Let me pray for you. Comment your prayer request there. Let me pray for you. Zebra makapayade, loko do zibala bayande librahate, zagaba yada yada yada, zidama kundeli atete. Rokodo Zipala Gunde Rabababayada. I bring you out from that cage that the enemy have caged you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That power that is making you to gossip, that power that is making you to talk a pervert talk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bring you out. I speak deliverance upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak deliverance upon your life by the power of Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will begin to listen more. You will begin to listen more and begin to speak less. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listening more and speak less. Listening more and speak less. Every thought, every of your words that are mimicking worldly, worldly, worldly words, I remove it out from you. Let the godly words be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not everything you see you speak. Not everything you see you speak. Not everything you see you speak. Not everything need to be expressed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every one of you. Every one of you that are hearing the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. For we are about to end this live broadcast by the power of Holy Ghost. My business, Papa, in the mighty name of Jesus, tonight I pray for your business. May the divine hand of God begin to manifest upon that business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the divine hand of God begin to manifest upon that business in the name of Jesus. May the divine hand of God begin to manifest upon that business by the power of Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, may that business begin to move. May that business business begin to move. International, in the mighty name of Jesus, divine connection, 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 divine connection by the power of Holy Ghost. Father, your ways in her life. You say heaven and earth will pass by, but my ways will never pass by. Yes, Father, you have done great things in her life. 
the prophecies since 2018 yes is always coming to pass lord you have been doing it for her do it again 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 by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus i need prayer i'm eating in the dream makaba mafosa mafosa in the mighty name of jesus christ that power feed you in dream i command that power to free yourself and die mafosa as you are hearing the sound of my voice that power that is feeding you through dream let them feed yourself from today from today let them begin to feed yourself 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 by the power of holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus that demon mafosa that demon i command that demon to come out from you right now i command that demon to come out from you right now mafosa in the name of jesus christ receive your deliverance 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 by the power of holy ghost touch 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 Yes, receive your deliverance. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Mafusa. Mafusa, receive your deliverance. God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. <coughs> God is touching you. Be touch. 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 Touch. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Cynthia, I pray for your mama in the name of Jesus Christ. That healing, healing power fall upon her. 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 Fall upon, upon her. Receive her. Receive, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Wherever you are, distance is not a barrier to the manifestation of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing. Receive your healing. <coughs> yes, yes. Mama, receive your healing. Mama, I say receive your healing. Yes, yes. Mama, yes, yes. Yes, wherever you are, Mama, receive your healing, Mama. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, <coughs> wherever you are, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Mama, <coughs> as I receive your healing, Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing, receive your healing. You say, cancel, cancel death, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we cancel every spirit of death upon her life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Comment her name, comment her name. What is her name? What is her name? Comment her name. Comment her name. Comment her name. Comment her name. What is her name? What is her name? Comment her name. Comment her name. Let's see. Comment her name. Makabayada. Ratodo zebra do shate libra ate. Zizi makubra do jama hande libra ata. Comment her name. Comment her name. Comment her name. Let's see. Comment her name. Comment her name, comment her name in the name of Jesus. Comment her name. Labado Judo. Ligrodu Shatatata. Clara Obazi. Obazi. I think it's Obaze. Obaze. In the name of Jesus. Clara. My God. My God. Clara. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. Clara. Clara Obaze. You shall not die. Cla Cla Clara Obaze. You shall not die. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power that want to kill you. They shall die for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. They shall die for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. That power that want to kill you. They shall die for your sake. By the power of Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall not die. 
you shall live and declare the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. You shall live and eat the fruit of your labor by the power of Holy Ghost. Say, so I will give men for your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be restored to life. 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 Be restored to life by the power of the ghost. The mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Kabayado. Libra Dunda, Libra Hande Kapayada, Clara Obaze, it is done in the name of Jesus. Clara Obaze, I declare it is done by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall not die. 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 Kapaya Tatata. Kabaya do do zubra do shate. Kiba do zebra ma kapande libra atata. Tati forty three four forty three four. Um, I want to give you um um what um what's his name? Cynthia. I want to give you a verse. I want to give you a verse, Cynthia. You read this, you read this. Um, Cynthia, Isaiah 43, verse 4. Cynthia, Isaiah 43, verse 4. Isaiah 43, verse 4. Read it tonight. If you have your mom picture, listen to this prophetic instruction. Isaiah 43, verse 4. If you have your mom picture tonight, raise her picture up. Read this verse. Declare. For you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Read Isaiah 43 verse 4. Take her picture up. You declare it and it is done. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Let me read Isaiah 43 verse 4 here. Isaiah 43 verse 4 says, Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. When you read it, you declare it. It is done. May God bless every one of you. May God keep every one of you. May God continue to do new things in your life. May God continue to empower you. May God continue to open doors for you. May God begin to give you new visions. May God begin to give you new revelation. May God begin to give you new dreams. May God begin to give you new ideas. May good things begin to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Where your mama fell, where your father fell, you will not fail over there in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for my husband. Johnny Mercy to and fro from Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fresha Kuhui, we pray for your husband. I release the angel of the living God to go with him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release the angel of the living God to go with him. Just one angel. Just one angel is enough for him. Just one angel is enough for him. Let there be a divine protection upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord God go with the children of Israelites in day with the pillar of cloud and at night with the pillar of fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, free Shaki Hul, her husband. Let there be divine protection. Let God go with him. In day with the pillar of cloud, at night with the pillar of fire, I speak divine protection upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May there not be any harm upon his, his life in the mighty name of Jesus. May he not be outside when the outside is hungry in the mighty name of Jesus. Eaters of 
flesh, suckers of blood, may they not have contact to him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is done. God bless every one of you. <laughs> My God. God is a... Uh, God, I see God opening people's eyes. People will begin to do what they are not able to do before in this live broadcast. People will begin to do what they are not able to do before. Mark my words. Something is happening. Something is happening in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is yea and amen. Receive it now by the power of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless every one of you. May the Lord keep every one of you. May the Lord make his face to shine over you. May the Lord open the windows of heaven and shower every one of you blessings of life in the mighty name of Jesus. May heaven never rest until you people are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom.